Hey, Art 270 years. Welcome to Art Education for Elementary Students. This is John Sterner. This will be the fourth time I've created this video. Uh, I had some troubles with my screen castify. I meant to send this out with the announcement. I'll send it out. This is everything that would be in the Zoom. Um, basically, what happens here is I have everything on D2L. I have everything listed by the day that it occurs. So day one, week one, day two, week one, and, and it'll just keep going through. It, it starts tomorrow so that you have a chance to look through your um, syllabus and things of that nature. How I arrange it is, is I have four categories. The first category is reading. The second category is YouTube or videos. Third category will be um, an art project. And the fourth category will be Mark Kistler drawings. And so um, each of those four elements does not always come in one day of work. So uh, day, let's just pick a random day. Let's just say um, if you have a reading assignment, it'll be from the book Art for, um, <clears throat> Art for the Fun of It by Peggy Davison Jenkins. Uh, it's a great book. Um, it's designed for um, homeschooling kids and being taught by parents and not educators. And so it is easy to read. It's based on the idea of process over product and that kids should make mistakes and that kids should make lots of mistakes and that we learn from our mistakes, that we don't make perfect images and that we aren't meant to be Van Gogh or Renoir or Donatello or Michelangelo or any of the other four Ninja Turtles. Um, it's the idea that we progress in art by making mistakes and we understand things better when we make those mistakes. So it's a really good book and I 100% agree with what it's saying. Now, second item, uh, you, when you read the chapter, then there'll be like four or five questions, maybe six questions that you will answer. You can type those in on Word or whatever device that you have for recording that. You could hand print it if you wanted and just take a photo of it and upload it to D2L. Um, that's all you have to do. All right. The second item is media or YouTube space. And on that space, I have videos for you to watch. One is like, uh, what is good art? Um, another is why, why is art school sometimes the hardest thing for people? Because, um, you know, it goes into that and talks about that. Uh, there'll be usually some questions again to answer after that. And then most of the videos, I think the longest video is 10 minutes. So it's not meant to be something that takes a lot of your time, but it's a chance for you to get another source other than the information from the book or from me. Um, you answer those questions on Word, uh, handwritten, take a photograph, upload them to D2L. Third one, drawing assignment or painting assignment or sculpting assignment. Um, you're going to make whatever the assignment is. It's probably going to take you to YouTube, to John Sterner, to the Art 270 uh, playlist. At the Art 270 playlist are all the videos of all the art projects that we're going to do in this class. Um, you watch the video um, and then you make the project based on the video. It's very Bob Ross. <laughs> um, the idea, though, is for you to experience art and to experience art in a variety of media or mediums, which means materials. And it's a chance for you to explore uh, your own creativity. Go ahead and make mistakes. If you have to make it three times, make it three times. If you make a mistake and it doesn't work, go ahead and try another one. That's what I do. Um, I just keep making mistakes until I get it the way I want it. <laughs> um, you take a picture of the finished product. You upload that to D2L and there may or may not be some questions that are related to the process. Um, and you just answer those and you upload those to D2L. The last item is the Mark Kistler book, Drawing in 3D. Uh, it's a great book. Uh, he teaches people how to draw and how to have fun drawing. Um, the idea is to create whimsical and fan fantasy kind of images that don't have a wrong or right answer. And the idea is, is then nobody can say, well, that doesn't look like a dog when it was meant to look like something else. Um, you know, so the, the advantage is, is that there is really no wrong way to make the Mark Kistler drawings. Other than I add some items such as one, it has to tell a story. Two, it has to fill your page. Three, it has to use four values. So, and we'll talk about that. 
And then lastly, you have to sign it. So it's something that you have to put your fingerprint on. Um, yeah. So from there, um, those are the uh, four things. The Mark Kistler drawings will also take you through about six different media or mediums. So you'll work with pen, Sharpies, charcoal, graphite, and red Conte um, or red colored pencil. So that's up to you. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is what I offer. Uh, each day there's an assignment. Um, I uh, And the due date for all of them is the last possible meeting. So it's like Wednesday at 6 p.m. All you have to do is have everything in. I do not grade on whether you are the greatest artist in the world. What I grade on is, is did you attempt to do the project to the what the project was intended for? Did you read? Did you do the assignments? And did you hand them in? Um, I may comment or something on whether I like your drawing or your painting or your image. Um, and I may even offer some suggestions. That's the hard part about teaching online is that you lose the whole caught in the moment, offering the suggestion on how to improve something while the person is making it. And so that's the biggest detractor from taking this course um, in person. As an in person, we make a lot of projects in class and I spend a lot of time walking around giving instruction or just giving ideas on what you could do differently or how you could make something or Ooh, have you thought about this artist? Maybe this artist would be a better idea for this project, you know, that type of thing. So that's what you lose by doing it online. So, um, but I have had been asked to teach this class online, so I am teaching it online. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me or uh, log on to the Zoom every day at four. All right. Good luck. Have fun. Make art. <laughs>